Hey everyone. Hi Amethyst. Thanks for joining us and being so patient. Um, yeah, I was, again, lemon lemon difficult. It wouldn't be alive if it wasn't a little difficult. <laughs> um, thank you so much for everyone who has patiently waited and is joining us. I'm so happy that we can be together again. Last week I got super duper sick so Tiana had to help me out and take over the live because I just was yeah experiencing the flu my husband caught it like the week before and we were doing so well everything was so good and i swear like the day or two right before like he was already kind of done being sick so i think like the day before he went back to work i ended up catching it and it really sucked um but again i'm so happy to see you all I guess on the internet <laughs> um, and see everyone's names I hope you guys are doing well so if you don't know this week our live is going to be about this spiderweb nail art tutorial um, inspired by Sarah Shaquille who is a really cool artist and I saw her art on Instagram and I instantly fell in love and knew that I needed to create this super sparkly manicure using plate M3116. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate that manicure inspired by her art. Okay, let's get right into it since you all have patiently waited. Um, the things that you're going to be needing today is plate M052, M316, and a whole bunch of polishes. But in case you need to have the links, we will be providing those for you. So do not worry, we'll link everything because again, it's quite a long list. Um, we're going to be using the concealing base coat. However, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. Um, Black Magic, which is B293. You can use Calcium Rich Base Coat or your Sticky Base. Um, we're going to be using Luna B327. Expedition Pearl B166. And then Straight Up Black, of course. We always need a good black and smudge free and speed dry. So lots and lots of products today. So get ready, because we're going to have a lot of fun. Yes, for those of you who are asking whether this plate was included, this plate was included in our Halloween countdown calendar. Um, so it wasn't inside our Manny by Me box, in case you're wondering. But I believe it's also available now on our site. So if you want, you can always go ahead and grab that. Um, so let's get started. Yes, buckle up kitty cats. <laughs> that is correct because they're going to be in here for a, for a minute. Um, I'm going to show you how to create the manicure that I'm wearing. The manicure I'm wearing is done in gel because I touch acetone all the time. It's really hard for me to just have regular polish and because these are my natural nails. So I need that added support. And on top of that, um, I, I touch polish all the time and I don't frequently have much time to do my own nails. So I only get to do my nails about once a month. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I, I opt for gel. However, I know we have a hardcore polish lover family here. So I'm showing you how to recreate this look with polish. And Maniology has all the products that we're going to be using today. So I already swatched my bases so that way you guys didn't have to wait for it to dry because again, that would just take a little bit longer. And you know, who's got time for all of that? We've got other fun things that we need to be doing today. So to get things started, I painted the bases two nails with black magic and then three nails using our concealing base coat. Again, you do not have to use a concealing base coat if you don't want to. Um, I like it because it gives the nails like a nice pink glow, especially if your nails might have like yellow staining or any of that kind of thing. Um, this concealing base coat will cancel out the yellow effect. So it is a temporary thing. You know, your nails are going to have to grow out until 
the yellow is fully gone or you can gently buff it off but um, if you don't want to do any of that then the concealing base coat will temporarily hide the yellow because it has a bluish undertone it's great and it works on all skin tones so definitely recommend checking that out but today i already painted it because i'm using clear tips and i don't want you to have to see like a weird the weird stickies that i use underneath um so let's get started right into the fun bits first you are going to want to use an old stamper um i have a nice old stamper that i'm going to be using today oh whoops so this one is kind of beat up. If you have a torn stamper, this is perfect because we're going to cover it in glitter. So let's first cover this in glitter. And this is the glitter that we got from our countdown calendar. It has a gorgeous reflective nature to it. So when you turn, um, like if you're in the dark and you turn your camera flash on with these glitters, it gets extremely sparkly. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a... What is it called? A reflective vest. Sometimes construction workers wear it or even like, uh, who else wears that kind of vest? Like um, roadside assistance people. I, I forget what they're called, but um, they have these like super reflective vests. Even I feel like that kind of material is even in like um, car lights and yeah, there's a lot of things that actually have that reflective uh effect but this glitter has that type of reflective um sparkle in it so again when the lights are off and you turn flash on or camera on or whatever have a little light on it it gets so sparkly um i'm just rubbing it all over my stamper so that way my stamper is prepped for what we're about to do so you just want a very thin layer. Even now, you see when I move it, you can see that it's like ultra reflective. Regular glitter doesn't sparkle like that. And it's so cool. This was a part of our countdown calendar. If you um, don't have this glitter, unfortunately, it is not sold on our website. However, you can use whatever type of sparkly silver or black glitter you have. And then you're going to want to paint a coat of base coat. So make sure your base is completely dry and then just go ahead and paint either using your sticky base or you can use um your calcium rich base coat because we we're going to use the calcium rich base coat um again anyways today as a base to mix color I've been playing around with some things and I noticed that the calcium rich base coat is actually really nice for making sheer colors or mixing because it's a lot more liquidy than our speed dry top coat. So before I used to use the speed dry and I started to realize that maybe I should try the calcium rich or the sticky base coat because the viscosity is a lot thinner so it makes it easier. So I'm going to just put that aside. Then now let's touch this. It should be 30 seconds. Usually 30 seconds is a sweet spot. It's still a little bit wet, so we're going to give it a few, few more seconds before I go ahead and stamp. You want it to be slightly tacky, but not so tacky that if you push down, you can see a textured fingerprint. You should be able to push down and you see a fingerprint, but it shouldn't be like indented. And I think now is probably, yep, now's good. So I'm just gonna stamp this on like that. So it's not a lot that we're gonna be using because we still want to be able to see through and see that really pretty um, like black magic base. So right now, if you kind of move this, when we top coat this later, you're still going to be able to see some of that rainbow holographic goodness from the black magic base. So then I just put it aside and now this one should be ready to go too. Ooh, it's still a little bit wet. So maybe just give it a few more seconds. 
I tried a really cool trick with this um, earlier and I can't wait to show you. Like you think that the glitteriness or sparkliness stops here, but we still have one more layer of sparkle to add to it. That just really changes the game. So we're gonna use the rest of what we have on our stamper to cover this. So here we go, just just like that. Okay. Right? Exactly. Who doesn't love sparkle on sparkle? <laughs> so that is the very first step. So that's gonna just chill out there. And now I'm gonna show you the third layer of this design. We're gonna start off with the easiest designs first and then we're gonna get a little bit more, uh, more advanced. So once that is good to go, clean off your stamper. And you can either choose to use the same stamper, which today I think I'm gonna because this stamper doesn't have a tear. Um, and then you're going to get plate M052. Now, when you do this trick that I'm about to do, um, you can... Oh, here. Oh, hey now. That makes it a little, e a little easier so you guys don't have that awful glare. Um, so when you do this trick, you need to use this. I have tried to do it without using this stamp, but... I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, we're going to use Expedition Pearl B166 and then grab your scraper card and apply it a generous amount, especially with this kind of design. With these solid etched designs, don't be shy to use a lot of polish. It's highly recommended that you use more instead of less. And then, oh, oh, oh. Oops, I scraped a little too hard. There we go. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. So. Light scrape. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you all send me good stamping vibes. <laughs> Everyone sent me great, great stamping vibes. We, uh, it might be a little bit of a lemon, lemon difficult day today. Seems like it. We're starting off with, with lots of excitement. So maybe I should switch my scraper card. I think I'm going to do that. Instead of using my small scraper card, I think I'm going to switch it out to my big one. Here we go. Yes. Yay, we got it. Okay, so thin layer. If you miss a few parts like I did, you can always just go back and add it in. So check this out. See, I, I think it's because you guys sent me all the good vibes. Now... I was able to pick up this design. So we've got that sparkle on sparkle action, triple sparkle. And once we put a top coat, you're going to be able to see all the layers of sparkle on this. Um, the reason why I don't recommend painting this on is because if you paint it on, it's too thick of a layer, so you won't be able to see the reflective nature. So doing a very, very thin layer gives it the best, um, like, dimensional sparkle. So we're going to clean off that design one more time and then do it again. 
and I've tried this a variety of ways. I tried mixing it, I tried painting it on, um, and I found that the best way was to do it the way that I'm showing you. So that way you can get that multi-dimensional shine. Because if you look at Sarah Shaquille's artwork, you'll see that her design has a lot of different types of shimmer. So this helps to make sure we get that complete look. Okay. So if you're like me and maybe you didn't get it all, that's okay. Just use, oh, there we go. Just use the part of the stamp design that maybe didn't transfer to fill those empty gaps. And that's what I did right here, whoops, on this side. Isn't that pretty? You can still see the reflective glitter. And once we paint a top coat, you're gonna be able to see all of the sparkles. So cute. Okay, now we can put this kind of on the side. <laughs> um, next, we are going to grab Black Magic and we're gonna start doing the French tip designs on here. Yes, Tiana, I can totally see a galaxy manicure with this. I just love the combination of like the black and the blue and like in certain angles it even looks purple. It's so pretty. So we're going to do, I think maybe, hmm, I think I'm going to go with this design, I think. Yeah, let's do this design for a French tip. So again, we're going to use the black magic. And for this, I'm going to switch my stamper again because it's a little easier to maneuver. And then you're just going to stamp on your French tip just like that. Oh my gosh, everyone sending me good stamping juju. I can feel it in my hands. I better not say anymore. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> so let's do it two more times. I'm going to clean off my design just to make sure. I'd rather be um, extra cautious than uh, just, you know, taking a chance. I am team no risk. <laughs> so I would not be a good person to go to Vegas with because I just, I have a hard time taking risks, especially if it comes to money. <laughs> I am not a risk taker. Okay, so there we go. And now one more time. I've created some pretty cool, um, like complex looking glitter combinations using the moonbeams and our different stamping polishes. It creates a lot of really interesting effects. The moonbeams look so good by itself, but it looks even cooler when it's layered with another color. So I highly recommend you guys check that out if you don't have this moonbeams collection. Okay, we made a little mistake here, but if that happens to you, it's okay. All you have to do is just restamp the design. So I'm gonna have to adjust it. See, I spoke too soon.
Okay, so we kind of fixed that line a little bit. I'm just gonna cover this piece right here. And unfortunately we have a little smudge there. Let's see if we can clean that up. If you have tape, that'll probably work better to remove it. But if you don't, you might be able to remove it with um, a brush. So let's see if I can remove it with a brush and a little bit of acetone. Be very careful if you're doing this. I'm gonna try. Oh yes, it's working. So I'm using a very light touch. Oh my gosh, it's working everybody. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we got it to work. Thank you everyone for sending me your good stamping juju. I, yeah, it's helping, it's helping me a lot. So there we go. So that is the next step of our design. Okay, so now I'm like, Ooh, it is about to get complex in here. <laughs> um, we are going to mix our glitter with some clear polish and then we're going to paint it on. So I'm just going to fold this in half like this. We're going to use this side for mixing. So... Again, this is why I recommended the Calcium Rich Base Coat because the consistency is so watery that it does very well for this kind of thing that we're about to do. And even though it has a little bit of a yellowy finish, um, it's okay. It doesn't matter because once we paint it on, you're not going to see that. And then you're just going to mix a very small amount of glitter. You don't want to do a lot because if you do a lot, it gets too chunky and then it makes it difficult to apply. So we're just gonna mix this up. And you can use an orange wood stick, whatever you have. So you see now, it's not, um, it doesn't have a lot of glitter, it's just a small amount. And then you're gonna wanna use any brush that you have and just pick up a little bit. And then we're just gonna kind of dab it on there just like that be very gentle when you do this because um you know this is still polish underneath so if you do it too much or you apply too much or push too hard it can cause like indents in your base and we don't want that so you can use whatever brush you've got around. So it's just to add a little bit of sparkle and you can even see it. There's like that extra shimmer and that's the effect that we're going for. So we kind of added a little bit of that sparkle. If you want to add more sparkle, I can show you how to do that. Let's see, maybe I'll try it with one tip. This one is mostly dry. All right, so the other alternative to this, if you wanna be like ultra sparkly, is you just take your base coat or whatever color you want. Um, you can either use the, what is it called? The black magic. If you want to do a second coat of it, you can either use black magic or you can use a sticky base coat or you can use um, calcium rich, whatever you want to just basically add some sort of sticky layer. Then we're going to take, whoops, that stamper again from earlier that we used for our glitter 
and apply some of the glitter onto that stamper. I always kind of rub it in a little bit. And then now let's see, let's check if this is nice and sticky, it is so. And you could always just do that again. So basically the exact same process we did for our, this, for this base, you can do that for the nails. So it's up to you how sparkly it you want to make it. Um, I showed you this way because, you know, it can be a little bit easier and not as sparkly, but if you want to go full shimmer, then go right ahead. I think, I think this is team full shimmer. So maybe I should show you guys the full sparkle way. Give me hearts on the bottom if you are team all glitter. If you're team all glitter, then I will add the shimmer to the other two tips. All right, we got we got some hearts. Yeah, okay. So we're team all glitter. Go ahead and apply your sticky base or whatever you want to use. to make sure I don't whack the camera with my hand. Okay, so there and okay, okay. I have my team glitter with me today. So then I applied a little bit of base coat on all the nails. Um, that have the French, and then we're gonna go ahead and just stamp that on. So let's make sure that this is not, yep, it's good to go. Okay, nice and sparkly, isn't that fun? Yeah, it looks so good. Let's see, is this a little bit too, too wet? Let's give it a few more moments. So when it's time for us to do, hmm, I'm trying to think what would be easier for you all. Well, I'll just show you the way that I did it. Yeah, I know. It is so pretty. So you could just stop here if you wanted to. If you don't want to do any more and you're like, I just like the glittery uh, French, then you could just stop right at the glittery French phase and call it a day. But if you want to go all out, I'm going to show you how to do that. So there we go. We're going all out today. These nail tips have a, a big date. <laughs> so have you all heard of double process stamping? Because if you haven't, today we are going to show you how to do that. So clean off your French tip plate and grab your Luna stamping polish, so B327, and grab your Expedition Pearl from your Moonbeam collection, B166, and get both of those bottles ready. Okay, so, we're gonna grab this web design. And you're gonna wanna apply Luna Polish on it. So before I jump right into this, I'm gonna explain something so that way you guys have an easier time during application. Um, and also so you don't have to clean up as much because again, I kind of tested this 
for you all so that way it would be the most foolproof and easy way to do it. Um, so you just want to apply polish basically to that would be around the same size as this French design that we're going to use. So for example, the French design is only maybe like what this thick, you know, you're probably going to go as thick as this. So about this thick. So that means the polish, I'm only going to put about that much on this area. That way I don't have to clean up as much and it's just going to be a little bit easier. Um, the other thing that I want to mention about this is that, oops, <sighs> When you do this, you need to move very quickly. So make sure your space is like set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, cause, cause it goes quick. It happens very fast and I think that's it. So when I'm doing this design, I wanted to here, let me show you. So if you see, and you look at my nail, I wanted to get part of um like the center of the web so that's part of the reason why i didn't do it like down here i didn't put the polish down here because then i'm not going to get that like center and i feel like the center part really helps give it that spider web feel so if you look at all of the nails they all have that center part because it just ties it in so wish me luck make sure all your polishes and glitters and everything is closed <laughs> because you do not want to make a mess and accidentally spill things. So even for myself, I'm like whoop, trying to make sure I have everything set up because you only get so many chances to do this. Okay, I have my stamper. Make sure my stamper is good to go. I think it is. It's all lined up nicely. Okay. <sighs> have to like mentally prepare myself so stamp then go here grab my sign Voila, look at that. Okay, so now line it up. Ah, yay, <laughs> it worked. I'm so excited that it worked on camera for everyone to see. Okay, yay, yay, yay. Okay, so. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool, everyone? Oh my God. I was like holding my breath. I was getting so nervous. <laughs> Even like leading up to it and talking to you guys, I was getting really nervous. I was like, oh, I really hope this works out. So now let's yeah, I know. First time, right? Oh, it's so, um, when you do these, like for us, I think even maybe Tiana doesn't feel this way, but for me again, by now I have literally done hundreds of lives and I still get jitters sometimes, especially when it's stuff like this, where it's one thing if it's like in, you know, we're just explaining a technique, a more simple technique but like when it comes to doing a full manicure like the jitters set in hard um because you're just like thinking about everything and you want it all to go perfect and smoothly so it just is like you you hold your breath and you can only hope and wish that it all works out and sometimes it doesn't and you guys have totally seen when it does not work out for us okay let me set up my space again because we have to do this few more times and I'm going to choose this design now. I'm turning it the other way so that way I don't have to worry about the polish getting all over in places I don't want it. And we're going to just apply stamping polish, scrape. Oh, well, that scared me. <laughs> Again, I'm on edge right now, so everything is just like, 
uh, jump scare vibes. <laughs> this really is going to be like a scary Halloween manicure, at least for me. And then oh. make sure your scraper is clean when you do this, um, because I've noticed if it's not clean, uh, especially with these solid edge designs, it can make it so difficult. Okay. Got a little bit of that polish on there that was not intended to be there, but that's okay. If it happens to you, if your base is fully dry, you can literally just scrape off a little bit of that stamp polish, but it only works if your base is fully dry. Like, look at that. I was just able to literally just like scrape it away because my base is completely dry. Um, had my base been a little bit dry, if I tried to scrape it, it obviously would have completely messed up the polish in a very, very hard to fix lemon, lemon difficult way. Okay, last one. Here we go. It's for, for all the money. <laughs> I think that's what they usually say in those like game shows. It's like, oh, for, for all the money, do you, are you going to bet this on that? So send, send me good vibes for all the money. <laughs> I'm going to clean this design again because I want to use it again. And set my space up one more time. Oh, also make sure your stamper is clean. Mine's was not. Ooh, almost put the wrong color on there. Yeah, I'm a polish, I'm not a polish minimalist in a sense where I, you know, some people, they only want to use, oops, the least amount of polish as possible. I'm trying to use the most amount of polish as possible because I don't have time for in case, you know, there wasn't enough polish on the design that I'm going to have to start over. just cover this tip a little bit perfect look at that I think there was like a really funny um soundtrack that was going on social media and it was like oh my god look at that look at those look at that <laughs> that's what I feel like today and here's me trying to like scrape off this little black polish with my nail and it's working too look at that <laughs> said it again you can just scrape off all that weird stuff isn't it pretty so now we can see what it all looks like together okay so now we have to do these two nails we're done with our french plate and we're gonna grab our i think on i did i took a photo of this hand and i used this um spider but actually i like the spider on this hand better so i'm going to use the spider from this the spider i think it's really cute and grab your luna make sure your stamper is clean and then Pick up the design, get rid of any excess with your scraper card. And then you're gonna stamp it. So I like using the monocle when I'm trying to do designs where I have to really center it because I've noticed it's so much easier to center things with the monocle. 
like this, you know, I was able to nicely center it since the stamper is bigger than the nail, so it just makes it easier. And then also it's not as domed as some of our other stampers. The more domed the stamper is, the harder it is to sometimes center things. Um, the other design I'm going to do is this design, and I'm going to do it all over the nail. So we have to clean it off one more time. So again, having an array of stampers and scrapers is important because sometimes, um, sometimes it's not the technique, it's not you, sometimes it's the stamper, or sometimes it's the scraper. Um, so trying different stampers and scrapers is good because, for example, I was struggling using the small scraper to pick up that French design. However, as soon as I switched to a different scraper that was a little bit thicker, I had less of a problem. So And that is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? I've said like, isn't it pretty almost after every single stamp? Sorry. <laughs> it is really pretty. I'm, I'm just very happy it's all working out. <laughs> um, what, Tiana, you've never done double process stamping? Oh, sis, you're gonna love it. <laughs> So this is what the manicure looks like. Again, you can stop at whatever point if you're just like, this is too much going on and I am tired today. I want to be done with my manicure. You can go ahead and stop whenever you want to. Stop at whatever phase you want to. But if you want to just, you know, you got the time and you're feeling good and you want to be extra and go above and beyond, then I am team too much. So I will support your... Uh, being extra, extra efforts. So I'm going to show you the last step of this manicure. Shocking, <laughs> right? It is shocking, Jackie. I know I was surprised that Tiana didn't try double processing either. Um, so the last step in this manicure, which again, you can choose to omit and stop now if you want to. Um, you can't really tell, I think, from the lighting here. Well, let me see if I can like try and adjust the lighting team too much oh you too i'm team too much also um i don't know if you can see this here but some of the parts of the spider web it's dark and some of the parts of the spider web it's sparkly oh i think it's maybe easier to see here um so we're gonna go ahead and you know do that team too much extra step but if you're done then that's fine <laughs> you can just stop right there but I am gonna go full gusto. So, straight up black stamping polish and using your base coat. So, use the base coat because the consistency of the base coat is a lot more fluid and it's a lot thinner than using the speed dry. Or like a top coat usually has a thicker base coat. And the thing is with maniology stamping polishes and stamping polishes in general, they're, they tend to be a bit thicker. So you're just going to need like the smallest amount. So I just kind of did a tiny dot and then I'm just going to mix it up like this. You could use, uh, if you have a sheer black polish or you have a sheer black regular polish, um, that works too. However, I wanted to make it a little bit darker than that. So again, this is kind of, this is actually very dark. It's a very dark sheer tint. And I want to start with my little spider and color in the belly. I think it's, is it called a thorax? I'm not sure. I forget. I called it the belly. <laughs> and then 
for this, you're just going to select some areas to color in. So it's going to be random. And be careful when you're coloring this design in. If you want a little insurance, you can always put the smudge free and wait for it to dry before you go ahead and color in. If you're feeling gutsy like me, you can just go ahead and do it directly over. Um, if you are going to do it directly over, I don't recommend doing it in front of a camera because it makes it a lot harder. Okay, so make sure you have a little pot with like acetone in it so that way you can clean off your brush when it starts to get a little bit caked on. You don't want to have too much of that caked on because it's going to ruin the design. And if you're wondering, why didn't I just use straight up black over this because if I use straight up black I realized it was too harsh so that's why I kind of um, diluted it with that base coat and then also I realized that when the top oh, whoops sorry I wasn't even in frame um, when the top coat goes on I noticed that it made it I could so I could still see a little bit of that sparkle underneath the areas that we colored. Okay. So I'm kind of doing like every other. Also, the cool thing about when you mix it with base coat, the dry time, um, because it's so more, so much more fluid, the dry time is a lot slower than uh, like the speed dry because obviously it's called speed dry so it can dry quickly. So I think that looks pretty good for this one. What do you think? You could even try if you wanted to, you didn't have to use like the blue Expedition Pearl for the moonbeams. You could also use like any of the other um, colors in the moonbeams to layer. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of these designs. So I'm gonna color in this area. And at a certain point, you might need to make more of that mixture because again, eventually it might dry out and you don't wanna keep using like sticky dry polish cause it's gonna start pulling up some of your design and then that's not gonna be fun.
I'm so happy you all are able to keep the conversation going even when I'm not talking. It really helps. So that way, whoops, I don't end up making a mistake <laughs> uh, because that's the last thing we want to do. We've come this far. It's like the last thing you want is a mistake on <laughs> at this process because we've already invested so much. And I promise you, we're almost done. <laughs> okay, I think my polish is getting kind of gooey gonna have to make more or you could just use a little bit of polish thinner to reconstitute it if you want so that way you don't have to make more but since I have all an excess amount of polish I'll probably just make another batch yes the black really does make it pop So also, um, you could use straight up white, or straight up, <laughs> bam white if you wanted. I chose not to because, um, again, I was trying to create art that was as close to the original artist's artwork. Um, so I was trying my best to create a design similar to Sarah's. But you don't have to do it this way. So you could use straight um i keep wanting to call it straight up white but bam white if you want like even more of a contrast but i went with the lighter color because um the image that i saw of sarah's artwork had a slightly softer kind of web like the details of the web was not that strong white color it was very subtle part of the reason for some of you who are like hey how come we can't have polish thinner remover it's because of the um, certain items are highly flammable even polish is considered flammable however i think that our stamping polish you know there are exceptions and we've had to work through licensing and all this stuff to do that um things like alcohol uh polish remover polish thinner we can't necessarily sell that because of licensing and certification issues it's it's like a whole thing to do that um so that's part of the reason we don't so even for us uh that live in hawaii for example if i wanted to buy polish thinner off of amazon i can't do that or like if i wanted to buy polish thinner from a website i can't do that because they won't ship it to hawaii since you know it has to be um flown over or well i guess you can do it on a boat but still they just don't do it like that here um so if i needed to buy polish thinner or acetone or whatever that is i need to go to like a drugstore to get it i have to go physically purchase it um they won't ship it and same goes for us that's part of the reason why there are certain items we don't sell on the site especially if they're like highly flammable items So just making, but the funny thing is like, I think we can purchase like, well, I don't know. I've never tried this, but I think I could purchase, um, like perfume from a website, but that doesn't make sense to me either because I guess, depending on the perfume, sometimes it has a really high alcohol content. And so again, I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me, but maybe there's something I don't understand since I'm definitely not a chemist I don't think I've also purchased any polish on uh like perfume online but I was thinking about it recently actually
but if we have any people who are who work for USPS or UPS, you let us know <laughs> how we could go about doing those things because we, you know, that'd be very awesome if we could. We're almost done, everyone, so thank you for being patient. I know you guys are like, this live is lasting forever. But we're almost there, I promise. I'm having fun with you, though. Oh, yes, and then making the shipping affordable. That's a whole other thing. Because we're located in Hawaii, shipping is expensive expensive and it's like almost impossible to do overnight shipping here unless you're willing to like give up your firstborn your life inheritance your family members like it's crazy expensive so it's kind of funny because like a lot of websites will be like hey you want overnight shipping or like you get priority shipping because you know you spent this much amount of money and then it's like you go to the checkout and you're like haha no you don't <laughs> you definitely do not get that because we're located in hawaii so whenever you want to buy something you have to think like a month in advance just in case because the shipping takes a long time here yeah sally's beauty um even like i think things like long or sorry you guys don't have a longs but like any kind of pharmacy um like drugstore pharmacy places usually they've got those kinds of things too so funny my mom's trying to call right now and i'm like she knows that i usually have lives on tuesday she always forgets though so this is the design. I think that's it, guys. We made it. We're done. We got to the end. You guys waited it out, and you were so diligent and patient with me. And now we are finally here, and you can see the finished product. I'm going to top coat this so that... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would have been so sad if we got a bunch of smudge marks after everything that we did. So I'm using our smudge-free top coat. Look at how sparkly. Gosh, I wish you guys could see what it looks like when the lights are off and the flash is on because she is gorgeous. So, so pretty. I am stoked. <laughs> So I'm using a very generous layer of our smudge free. And if you're trying to get it to last a couple of days, I recommend waiting for the smudge free to dry and then applying um, the speed dry top coat. And that'll give you some extra protection so your manicure lasts even longer. I just dinged it with my nail a little bit. I can be so clumsy. <laughs> I think you guys have already figured that out though. I don't think it's a secret. My husband loves to tease me that he's like, you know, for someone who comes across so like <laughs> delicate and feminine <laughs> and I always wear high heels and makeup and all that other stuff, he's like, you are so clumsy. And I have like the worst timing for things as well. There's been so many incidences like, <laughs> for example, you'll be in the movies and then you're like, talking to a friend or talking to someone and then all of a sudden the movie goes quiet like you know it's a quiet part or a quiet scene in the in the movie and then it's just like you hear my loud voice <laughs> screaming at level 10 <laughs> there's been i've had so many incidences uh oh did we get cut off oh no okay well 
I hope we didn't get cut off, but if we did, I'm so sorry about that, and I wish you the best of luck. And this is basically our design, so I hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, no, you're still here. Oh, we didn't get cut off. Oh, I'm here, yay! Okay, wow, I don't know what happened. Okay, well, Tiana might have accidentally got cut off but at least we're all here together and we're already at the end of the design anyways so i'm very happy you guys sticked with me the entire time i really appreciate your patience with all the lemon lemon difficult that we went through today um again i top coated it with the smudge free um if you're not used to using the smudge free sometimes it does this weird like foggy thing while it's drying don't worry about the fogginess. It will dissipate as soon as it's completely dry. So again, if you have any issues um, with it getting smog uh, smoggy, <laughs> foggy after you apply your smudge free, it'll be okay. Your design will still look beautiful. Just give it some time to completely dry and you'll see all of that dazzling, beautiful, wonderfulness that we have spent all this time doing. And I really appreciate everyone's patience. So let me know if you guys have any comments or questions that you want me to answer before I head out. Because if not, I think that was pretty much it. And remember that if you want to do this and you want it to last longer, um, apply uh, the speed dry top coat after your smudge free top coat is completely dry thank you so much uh, here i'll show you guys you guys can look at this design which looks beautiful or you can even look at my design so these are my nails and then this is this one i kind of like this one better i think because i i love blues um and if you ever well, you can't see my house, but my house has tons of blues in it. So I'm wildly attracted to the color blue. Um, so I actually kind of like the way that this looks even better than mine's because you just get so much more of that like sparkle. Looks like we didn't have any questions. Did you guys have all your, all your answers? Did I answer everything? I wasn't able to kind of check the questions throughout the live because all of my attention was here <laughs> trying to create this. Um, but looks like we're good. If I missed any questions, we will come back later and, you know, answer them. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And I hope you have an amazing week. And if you recreate this manicure, please make sure to add mention us or hashtag us because we love seeing your creations. Okay, have a great live, oh wait, uh -uh. brain fart everyone. Have a great week and I'll talk to you all later. Oh wait, what Matt, oh wait, what would matte top coat do to this glitter work? Um, I wouldn't recommend the matte top coat. It's especially because we have glitter underneath. Uh, also like this, ooh, whoops, um, this design might feel just a very slightly texture because we put like straight up glitter pigments on this. So when you have any kind of like little bumps or anything like that, matte top coat only exacerbates that, um, or wait, exacerbates that and just makes it really obvious that it's like not perfectly smooth so i wouldn't recommend a matte top coat for this unless you completely omit the glitter and you're just doing all like smooth polishes then you'd be okay but even then i feel like this design is meant to be like extra extra sparkly so i recommend sticking with a sheer top coat let's see do we get all of it okay i think i think we got all of that so again Thank you everyone for joining us and we will talk to you guys a little bit later. Have a great week. Bye. Bye everyone.